The following is a presentation of the HAN Network, the leader for local news, sports, and more in southwestern Connecticut. This is the HAN Network's coverage of FCF Volleyball. Frank Lito and Kevin Coleman for the HAN Network. A rematch of the 2016 State and FCF Championship. The Richfield Tigers with Darian Blue Wave. Good afternoon, Kevin. Happy to have you sitting alongside us. We have got a great one in front of us. Both these teams have been so dominant all year. Richfield yet to drop a set. Darian yeah. dropped yeah. one, and it came against Massey. You know, Massey is a very good volleyball team. Good afternoon to you, Frank. Good evening. good evening to everyone at home watching this game. We have a great marquee matchup here. On Friday night here, April 28th, it's going to be a great matchup, a rematch of the FCI Championship game and the Class L Championship game between the two Tigers. Darian Blue Wave, they split. Darian Blue Wave took the title. Took the FCI title for the Tigers last season. It was the Tigers who took the state title from their end. So this season, both teams returning some big time players, some key starters on both sides. It really is going to be a great match. And unfortunately, for the Richmond Tigers, they're going to drop their first set this year, I believe. Unlikely we see one team go 3 0 today. Uh, let's go inside the matchup a little bit right now. Two captains for both squads, and they're two of the best players in the state. Alex Preston, Nick Ladowdy. They met on this same hardwood in the winter season for basketball. We expect the matchup to be just as good this time around in the spring. You know, it's funny, Frank. Both? Today, it's Alex Preston, Nick Ladowdy, and Henrik Leoponov. You think about it, Henrik Leoponov and Herget are pretty much the same size, same player. Then you got Ladowdy and Preston, those two are the same size player as well. So it is a really, I mean, you talk about great matchups. This is an excellent matchup going going up against each other. I mean, they're almost identical if you think about it. Nick Ladowdy, it's rare to see a lefty hitter like himself. Man, he can really play this game. Of course, you know, Henry Leopold, so vocal on the floor, great leader. But it's the Richfield Tigers who I think have the advantage with the depth. I think they have that nice little work. They, they work it so well with the bench players who come in. Everyone has their role. We talk about some of the guys who don't get enough recognition, but should. We talk about guys like Jack Lincoln. We talk about guys like Christian DeVigo, who on Nutmeg Sports yesterday, we had the Richfield Tigers on. Captain said that he's the most improved player of Christian Vivo. That's something to look out for. Miles Parker is another leader as well. Of course, they just announced Josh Rodeo. He is excellent as well. For Darien, this is also a very, very strong roster. So uh, listen, we couldn't ask for a better matchup here on Friday night on the HAN Network. It's our first look at the Darien Blue Wave this season. We saw it originally a couple weeks ago in Staples. One thing that stands out to me we really need to keep an eye on today, Richfield serving. It didn't get them into too much trouble against a team like Staples, but they gave points away, and if you give the Wave opportunities like that, they'll close this game out in the third or fourth set. And you look back at last year, in the regular season of the SCI Championship, the Wave won in four sets. All three of those games, they were three and one against the Tigers last year. The only loss coming in the state championship matchup. What really stands out to me though in the last 10 meetings between these two schools, five and five are the two teams. Listen, there's a reason why these are two of the best in the conference. They're probably gonna see each other in the playoffs again. This is a great matchup and we're privileged to have you here guys in the HN Network. And we will have the start of that match when we get back on the HN Network.
Bankwell is doing good. That's why, with the support of local community partners, Bankwell has launched the Bankwell Pet Adoption Project to boost awareness about the hundreds of animals in local shelters that need a home. And when you donate to the cause using the Bankwell self-service coin machines, we'll match your donation. For details, visit mybankwell.com slash please adopt me. Bank smart, bank local, bank well. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. Mr. Handyman CD. Have a sports injury or a slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Biking, golf, tennis, soccer, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care, open Monday through Saturday, now at three locations. 131 Kings Highway North in Westport, the I Park Building at 761 Main Avenue Norwalk, and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. Back on the HAN Network. At Darien High School inside the gym, and we are getting set for FCAC Volleyball. A rematch of the state and FCAC championship, Richfield and Darien. The Wave comes in 10-0 on the season, 7-0 within the conference. Richfield 8-0, 8-0 in the conference. They are yet to drop a set. How important is this first game, Kevin? For the Tigers, it's extremely important. I think when you talk about not losing a set yet, you know, that could rattle some teams. You know, if you lose that first set of the year in the first game, you know, that could be trouble for the Richfield Tigers. They need to stay composed, play their game, don't do anything too drastic here, especially in that first set. You know, they're playing on the road. It's, it's a little intimidating here playing at Darien. This is a great gym to play at. Something to keep an eye on as well. You're going to see Richfield start things off. Miles Peckham is going to start the serve. And I thought he was the best one to serve the Richfield Tigers that last game we did against Staples. Tigers are in the orange on top of black compared to Darien's blue on black as we're underway. And the first opportunity for the wave denied. Can they get one back in play? No. The Tigers come out. Huge block at the net. Nick Dowdy, my man. I mean, you look at that play. You see how high Tim Hurd it Oh, man. Oh. And he had some power on that one, but just perfect form at the net. So the Tigers take the opening point. And if the rest are anything like that, we're in for some fun. Listen, Frank, Tim Hurd is probably one of the best players we're going to see on the floor today. Uh, well done right in the middle. Tyler Hurd at the sophomore, the set. And coming up for the finish right down Broadway with Sean McKay. During warm-ups, you can see Sean McKay had a little extra zip during his warm-ups. That's that, a big point for Darian Blue. We saw the mind games that'll be at play today because they came back with that same look like Hergit, who's serving right now, was going to take it on the outside. Free ball for the Blue Wave here. Oh! Preston can't get enough of that one to set the ball for. We saw Hergit coming up on the outside there, but it was a short set right in the middle, and it caught the defense in a little bit of a lull. Just a little too far to set up there. Big point for the Richfield Tigers, but you just saw how good of a server Tim Hergett was. Here's Ladowdy. He had trouble serving against Staples, but that one was perfect. Doesn't matter though, as Preston finishes in the opposite end. That was a 12 to 6 curve off the handle of Dowdy right there. Listen, what a setup there by Hergett right to Preston. Preston doing what he does best. We saw him during the basketball season. One of the best in the FCAC on the hardwood. Again, he's probably one of the best in boys volleyball here in the winter in the springtime. He's going up for his first kill, DeVivo, and he converts. You talked about the credit the captains gave him on the air yesterday, living up to it on his first strike. Chris DeVivo, you know, he never played volleyball up until freshman year. Came into the high school, he got talked into playing, and he's really grown into a grown into a great volleyball player. Captain giving him high praise this year at Nutmeg Sports. Most improved player they think they've seen. Coming to the outside, that one is long, and our first two-point lead 
Goes to the Tigers, that was Zach Swady. Couldn't convert. What we're seeing from both teams early on though, Kevin, lots of touches, they're getting everyone involved. Want to have that awareness set up as Verdejo gets his first touch, denied by Preston at the net. Opportunity again, and Preston couldn't keep it alive. Nice job there by Lincoln. Tip that one over. Preston had a hard time trying to get that one over. Sales over. Big point for Richard Tigers. And already you're seeing the substitutions the Tigers are making in between serves. Deep bench for the Tigers. Sean Keegans is in on the defensive front right now for the Tigers. They go in the middle and Sweetie tried a little drop shot opportunity. Far side and here's Lincoln. Just handcuffed Hergut who was waiting on the back line. Tigers starting to roll a little bit. I think, you know, Lincoln, if you go back to that Staples game, Staples game we did a couple weeks ago, he was by far one of the best players for the Tigers, getting some key points, especially in that third game that they almost dropped to Staples. Far side is Preston wants to kill. Great Still shot by play. DeVito. And Lincoln comes right back again. The defense of Richfield is very impressive here at the start of this one. Coming into this, Frank, I, that's what worried me the most. Richfield's defense, but right now they're living up to it. Some great stops by Christian Avivo. Again, serve. Great communication. Good for the Tigers early on. Serve from Andrew Nakel was out of bounds. So, Rich, or excuse me, Darian stops the bleeding momentarily. And here comes Preston, his first service opportunity of the match. Far side, Lincoln got it again. So dominant. They do not have an answer for the young man on the left wing right now. What a start for the Richard Tigers. You see Nick Dowdy is going to check back in here. Sean Keegan's a defense specialist for the Tigers. Let's take a seat. And a timeout's going to be taken by Coach Lori LaRusso. We will take it as well. 7-4 Tigers on the HAN Network. At the Milford Bank, we offer an extensive selection of lending products and services to meet virtually any need. Submit your application online in our Mortgage Web Center. Start to finish, you can apply for a loan in as little as 10 minutes. Our knowledgeable and helpful staff are available to meet with you at your convenience. To learn more about what we can do for you, stop by one of our Milford Bank offices or visit us at milfordbank.com. The Milford Bank, always there. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back at Darien, an early advantage to the Richfield Tigers. And the captain, Henrik Leopunov, serving now. As the opposite side, a captain waiting there, Timmy Herget. Big finish from the senior. It's a big answer for the Blue Wave here. Especially being down, you want to get Tim Herget involved. Do you remember, Kevin, we did the championship for girls in the fall? We had Fairfield Ward coach Matt Narwald on with us, and he talked about the importance of those timeout points. Dowdy with a big left-handed finish. There's nothing you can do if you're Tim Ergen right there. Too much power behind that, behind that spike. And it's that point right after you use a timeout. You can't allow the other team to convert. You need to capitalize. Free ball now for Ridgefield. All the way across, and DeVivo fanned on his kill. So the Tiger, excuse me, the Wave look to respond. It's almost unfair how high he can get up. He gets that good lift off. So much speed becomes comes with that spike. A very, very gifted volleyball player here for Darien. Far side, DeVivo this time. Far enough out of the reach of Preston, he couldn't control, and the lead goes right back to three, nine, six. Richfield on the advantage, and coming to serve, top of the order, Miles Peckham. A bit too strong on that one. And the woes continue a little bit here for the serves the Richfield Tigers. They, this would be a deadly team if they really just picked up a little bit on their serves. That had some action on it. Listen, I was watching him during warm-ups and I was talking to our director, Eric Gendron. Just watch how he serves. So much speed behind it. By far one of the best serves I've seen so far here in the FCAC throughout the boys' season. As again an ace Woo! this time. That's not fair. This is why he's probably one of the best players 
not only in the conference, but you could easily argue that he's probably one of the best in the state. You get to see it again. That one just missed long. Early enough in the match that it's okay, you lose that one there. But Herget's gotta be feeling good after those first two. Another good serve from Ladowdy. Going up, great job finishing that time. Sean McKay, the senior. Not all started with Herget. Nice dig there to keep that possession alive. Keegan's back in for the defensive presence. Short side to Vivo at the net. Preston says no thank you. Man, the Hergit boys, they got some jumps. Yeah, you got the jumps of Hergit along with Alex Preston. You're not getting by that. Inside Verdejo, good use of the drop shot. Verdejo, very creative volleyball player in front of the net there. Got good vision, saw the opening. Nice little drop shot in there. Preston in the middle, yes. Darian with their first lead of the afternoon. This is exactly what I expected. Both teams gonna trade off back and forth. Yapanov yeah, had to run a long way to get that one. Great job by Keegan's. Sets up Lincoln again. It's the third time a charm. No! Preston. There's that size advantage. <laughs> All over Thomas Lincoln on that point. It should be Jack Lincoln on that point. Lincoln tried to get that dig there. Unfortunate, Verdeo wasn't ready to get that one over. Tyler Hergen on serve right now. Lincoln this time dropped one over and great work defensively. Another big rally here. As the frustration visible on Jack Lincoln's face, so Coach LaDonia is going to take a timeout. 15 11 wave. We'll be right back with more volleyball after this. Spring has sprung at Walter Stewart's Market, and we're celebrating the new season with fresh takes on spring. From the finest produce around to guaranteed fresh seafood delivered daily by the best local supplier. Not only are we your time-saving one-stop shop for everything you need this season, our personable team is always ready with a helping hand. Shop Stewart's for the best of spring. Find us at 229 Elm Street, New Canaan, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. A 10-4 run in favor of the Wave, and they now have a four-point lead. Good job by Lyapunov to recover, and now a free ball for the Tigers. Lincoln got it over the net and front line at least this time. As Swady couldn't shape that one around the antenna up top. Ridgefield with a big point out of the break. Both teams, both rosters are filled with pure athletes. Swady in the middle. That was too easy. It. Too easy. Again, Hergit. Another great setup. right back off the three point. 16-13 in favor of the Tigers. Uncharacteristic there from Preston. Richfield getting a big point here and they get the serve back. Miscommunication. That's just, yes, exactly. Playing miscommunication to McKay and Herget there. Good ace for Lee Ponov. Two-point advantage. 
Did it fall in? Yes. No, excuse me, that was out of bounds. Tigers point. A good response after the timeout by Coach Saberi. Lee Punov back on the serve. Swady denied, pressing eagerly, waiting on the back line, though. Good defense from the Richard Tigers. Hergen in the middle. It's our longest rally of the match. It's so impressive, I and mean, the chemistry is just on right now. The Darien Blue Wave. And again, there's Tim Hergen. Well, it's very easy to see why both these teams are at the top of the conference and just ahead above the pack. Uh, just powering through that time. Miles Peckham. That's big for Miles Peckham to get that confidence up now. When he's on, he's on. Hergit. And he's blocked at the net. A pack of Tigers waiting that time. The Dowdy, my man. All right, big time save. Big point for the Tigers here. Inside, and Darianne responds. They're back on top. McKay is having himself a great first game here. Long, but Peckham keeps it in play. Short side, Ladaudi. Yep. Beautiful setup by Leah Ponov. Ladaudi. It's almost automatic every time he gets that setup. You know it's going to go through. Tied at 18. Set number one, Darien and Richfield. Battle of the last remaining undefeateds in the conference. Good communication from the Blue Wave there. And that's something that's so important here in boys volleyball. You gotta be able to communicate as a whole. And now we get to see probably one of the best serves here. Tim Hergit, so good. Nothing natural to do on that one. That's why he's probably one of the best. A treat to watch him go. Got to see him on the gridiron in the fall, but he shines on the hardwood in the spring. Bit too eager on that one. And here comes Nick Ladaudi. Back to back to back long serves from both sides. And that was the biggest area of concern for Ladaudi in that last game we had. It was. Well, not just Ladaudi, it was a, it was Richville as a whole. Not strong on serves. That's something they really need to fix up on. In the middle, Verdejo, and he's just a bit too strong on the outside. 21-19 now. Maybe 22 in favor of Darien. Best of five, you play sets to 25. You have to win by two. If we go to an all-decisive fifth set, we'll play to 15. Good save by Preston. Preston. Yep. Keeps that one in there, but it was carried. And that will be Christian DeVivo who will look to keep the Tigers come back alive. Yeah, Preston just whipped on that. Uh, it was just miscommunication. Young Tyler Hergit just put it a little too far out of the big man's reach. Tough to do with that frame. It really is, but you know what? The Tigers catch a break there. They're only down one now. Try again, they come to the far side, and Swady. You pulled off. Great dig. The Tigers have been so strong at the net. Darian takes a timeout, tied at 22. We'll take it as well on the HAN Network. At InSports Trumbull, the game is always on inside. Signups are now open for one of our most popular programs, the New England 80 Elite Lacrosse Division I and Division III Showcases. With D1 and D3 coaches in attendance, players will receive a 60-minute webinar with Director of Recruiting Hans Hansen, a custom NE80 Pinny, 
custom shorts, and a video of all games. Last year's event sold out quickly, so sign up now for the next showcase coming in January 2018. Like and follow us on Facebook. First set between Richfield and Darien. We are tied at 22 on the HAN Network. Tigers Christian DeVivo holding serve at the moment. He's won his first two points. Third one in play again. Oh, nice. Cheeky. Oh. Oh, Gotta love that. Timmy Hergen knew it right away. Correction, that was Tyler, the sophomore. That was a veteran play from the young man. Listen, you said it best. Cheeky is right. Very cheeky play. Caught the Richfield Tigers completely off guard. Far side. Lincoln denied, but it goes out of play, so the Tigers win the point. That's a big relief for Jack Lincoln, who had struggled his past few points at the left wing. Let's see if Andrew Nakel here got a good serve in. 23-23. Preston going up. Good Flint. dig by DeVivo. Lincoln again, he had to readjust and that one caused it to sail out of play. Set point now for the wave and it'll be Alex Preston, the senior captain. All six foot eight of him looking to clinch it and Coach LaDania is gonna take a timeout. We'll stay here through it. Teetering on the end of set number one and it has been a very high level of volleyball to this point in this match. It has, I mean, there's a reason why these are the two best teams and, you know, great matchup here. Both sides are gonna give it their all. This is why I said even yesterday on the, on the show that I definitely expect this game to go to five sets. And listen, the big thing for Richfield is they have to realize that they're gonna lose a set. They can't let that get to them. Even if they lose this first set, they've definitely been here before. So they know what it's like to be pressed up against the door. Preston serving for the match. Now the Wave have an opportunity. Hergen in the middle. Good save. Lincoln on the far side. Wow. And the point lives on. Lincoln again. Great rally here from both sides. Got to get it over. And a free ball opportunity. Oh, no. DeVivo called for the two-handed carry. That's a frustrating way to lose the first set. Well, what a first set it was. Wave up, 1-0, 25-23. We'll be back with more high school volleyball after this. You don't have to go far for authentic Neapolitan cuisine and renowned wood fire pizza. Pizzeria Loretano of Bethel is a contemporary Italian bistro specializing Authentic wood-fired brick oven pizza Napolitana. Pizzeria Loretana was named one of America's top 1,000 Italian restaurants in 2008 by Zagat and recommended by Jane and Michael Stern on National Public Radio's Splendid Table. Located close to the Bethel Cinema, we focus on quality and our food is always made to order. Join us for live jazz Sundays from 6 to 8. Find our schedule, menu, and more at PizzeriaLoretano.com and like us on Facebook. We told Dad he could have his office back if he sold 150 cars last month. Deal's a deal. Well, Dad, you did it. You get your office back. Forget it. I'm having too much fun down here. My new goal, 160 cars. <laughs> wow. Folks, if you ever wanted a great price on a new Nissan, now is the time. Right now, lease a 2017 Altima 2.5S for only $99 a month. Isn't it time you got Millerized? Did you know heart attacks and strokes are the leading cause of death in America? Protect the health of you and your loved ones. Talk to a doctor about heart disease. Hi, I'm Dr. David Pazer with ProHealth Physicians, encouraging you to stay informed about health matters that affect you. ProHealth Physicians is on the pulse of social media to share information about health and nutrition with the community. Get up-to-the-minute alerts, including ProHealth Physicians news and upcoming events. Connecticut's leading group of primary care doctors is just a click away. Back on the HA Network, Frank Granito and Kevin Coleman from the gymnasium at Darien High School. The Wave winning set number one, 25-23 in a rematch of last year's state and FCAC championship games. Kevin, you talked about how important that first set was for the Richfield Tigers. While they don't win it, I thought there were a lot of positives 
that could be taken away, specifically for their confidence at points in time. For Darian, it, you always want to win that opening set. You can't win them all if you don't win the first one. Now, for the first time this year, Richfield facing adversity. They've lost a set. How do they respond? Well, listen, the first thing that I'm looking out for is body language. And right now you're seeing Leoponov try and get everyone mentally prepared for this. And it's losing your first set of the season after having such a great start for almost a month. You know, it's the, the, the big thing, I think, is that the leadership needs to needs to come out here. You're seeing Coach Ladonia say, we need to step up here. Let's take advantage here. Let's get momentum back on our side. Because right now, Darianne has to be feeling so confident in themselves. I mean, yes, it was certainly an extremely close first set. Both sides gave it their all. And I expect to see this in the second set as well. But the Richfield Tigers, their body language, that's what I'm looking for in the this, in this second set. Tim Hergett will get us started in set number two. We saw how lethal that serve can be in number one. This one, though, not going to stay in play. So Richfield for the second game in a row leads one up. Big serve coming up here for Christian DeVivo. Target from about eight feet off the net, just couldn't get the proper strike on it. Nice start for the Tigers here. Want a better opportunity on the outside, and that one rolled across the top of the net. It stays alive. It's carry. Yeah, Keegan's called for that one. So 2 1. First point for the wave. And those are the little things that'll come back and haunt you. Both sides, still a little bit of a turnover issue. A good communication there for the Tigers. As McKay served, just missing that time. Good communication, better vision by the Tigers. And here's Knockle to serve. Again, they gotta clean that up. That's something that they really need to work on is their serves. Because that's their Achilles heel and that's what it's been like this whole season. Bit of a shank apotomus off the side of the hand. It's Tyler Hergett serving now for the wave. Lincoln very close to getting over the carry that time. And a three ball opportunity. Lands out of bounds, so the Tigers get the point. And again, there's that communication. You're going to see Ladowdy check in for Keegan's. Got to get him going. Far side here's Preston. Great dig there by Leoponov. Throws the third one over as well. Right in the middle, Preston over the top of the block and it lands clean. Listen, there's nothing you can, you can't stop that. Nothing you can do about that. Great job by Alex Preston, a great setup. And you see him serve. That's the second time he's done that this afternoon. Both teams struggling to find consistency on the service line at the moment. That one played off the top of the net. Miscommunication in the middle. Swady though, ends all the debate with a big kill. Uh, both teams right now, game number two, seem a little out of sync, Kev. Well, you know, it's it's intimidating for both sides. It's, I'm sure that first set, a little nerve wracking going up against each other. Since that championship game, you know, both teams want to win. Again, communication right there. That's just miscommunication from Miles Peckham. Swady painting lines out here. And we are tied at five. You gotta wonder, maybe he just mishit that. Just got over. Dowdy powers through the block opportunity. Big point for the Tigers. So Josh Ladero check in. Peckham serving. Good dig. That's the second and third time now we've seen the wave on an opportunity returning serve where they've had two guys on this play together. So on the first set, early on the first set when Richfield took that nice lead. 
Dowdy on the outside. That <laughs> actually took a while for the line judge to, to, to decide. Say the line judge could not see it. It went to the deferral of the umpire up atop the chair. And the ruling is Tigers point, a three-point advantage with Peckham still working from that back line. No doubt about that one. Sean McKay in the middle. Serving now is Spencer Jarecki. One of these players we saw in the fall with the football team. Jarecki, just a little too much adrenaline, sends him over the back line. Good communication for the Tigers. Tigers have a nice three point lead here. See if they can hold on to it. Again, looks like Ladowdy just mishits it again. Had weird spin on the ball. He does not look confident at the moment on that line. Especially on his serves. Yes, he looks very confident. On the serve. That's it, though. Yeah. The rest of his game, he still looks confident. It's just the serves for, and the whole Richfield roster doesn't look confident as well. I like that Herget took a little off that serve. Get one in play. You missed your last few. Great kill by DeVivo over the top of Tyler Herget and Sean McKay. Here is McKay. He's denied, and the ball's still alive. Great defense. Verdejo in the middle. Let's go to Richfield. Great rally, though, from both sides. Coach Luso is going to take a timeout. The wave trails by four, 11-7 on the HAN Network. At Worcester School, we believe summer is a time for kids to be kids. We provide the safe and nurturing environment for them to find activities that match their interests and allow them to create lasting friendships. Summer at Worcester offers seven weekly sessions at our Danbury campus from Monday, June 26th through Friday, August 11th for pre-K to grade eight. Find out more about our extended hours, new optional lunch program, and a new low price at summer at Worcester.org or 203-830-3921. Summer at Worcester, experience the difference. Christian DeVivo to serve. The Tigers holding a four point advantage. High school volleyball on the home of FCX Sports. The HAN Network, Frank Renino and Kevin Coleman in the gym at Darianne. And they're gonna give it to Richfield Preston. Put his hand on the net. It's a violation. Richfield really has a nice lead right now. They can't let the Darien Blue Wave get back into this game. Largest lead we have seen from either side yet today. It is a five point difference. Far side, Preston for a second time. Good dig. Good communication there by Tyler Hergen. ready to serve. Our side for Lincoln. This kill was deflected and there's an opportunity. Now Sweaty. Right back again in the middle of Verdejo. Is it deflected? Yes. Point's going to count. It's a big point for Verdejo. He's going to take a seat. Miles Peckham's going to check back in. No Verdejo, no Ladowdy on the floor. I would not be shocked if we saw the wave going to Preston for a little while right now. You can't stop that from Preston. Too dominant. Great spike. Oh! <laughs> you talking about cheeky, Frank. Oh, he loved it right away. <laughs> They have Poonov, beautifully done. Listen, he is just so much fun to watch. He's got so much energy too. You love to you love to see that. Good ace. Plays with so much emotion. A lot of fun to watch. Six point advantage, 15-9 Ridgefield. There it is, Miles Peckham, there you go. Bench coming to life, the entire Tiger pack 
feeling it at the moment. The lead is seven. And Darian takes another timeout. We will be right back with more high school volleyball after this on the HOA Network. At Budget Blinds, we're in business to frame the light, the day, and the night. So we give you an exclusive combination of high style, expert service, our no surprises pricing, and our no questions asked warranty. We believe that everyone, at every budget, deserves style and service. Isn't that a beautiful place to be? Back on the HAN Network, Frank Renito and Kevin Coleman of the Richfield Tigers. A seven point lead in the second set. They trail one nothing to the defending conference champion, Darian Blue Wave. As Preston looks to end the run. Doesn't have to be the prettiest of points. They'll take them any way they can right now. Down six. This is the Tigers. They can't drop two sets in a row. They can't go down two nothing here at Darien. And if you're Darien chasing six, you've got to just put serves in right now. Give yourself a chance to play defense at least. Wow, what a save there by Tyler Hergett. Free ball opportunity now. Up in the middle. And Ladowdy was denied. What a rally here. Oh! Beautifully done in the middle. Tyler Hergett almost robbing a home run, keeps it back. And his brother Tim comes in for the kill. Hergett to Hergett. Peckham. Wow, you gotta get him going. Nice. Great job. Great setup by Lee Ponoff. Here's Jack Lincoln on the serve. Hurry <laughs> goes through the block. I mean he had that one eyed up. <laughs> Listen, there's there's you're not stopping that. He's got so much speed behind that head. I'll, wow. throw, I'll throw a comparison your way, especially on that last kill where he's coming up to the net. Uh, you look like Clyde Drexler. And I mean, he was gliding from about six feet off the net up to the point of contact. Great job there by the Richfield Tigers. But yes, back to your point, Frank, about Hergit. He is so much fun to watch. I mean, I could watch him all day long. He's a phenomenal player. For the viewers at home, they get to see a treat here, both sides. Back and forth, good rallies going on. 18-12 the score. Great dig. Verdejo making contact with the net. I hope they're gonna say two-handed carry. This is where Darien starts to claw their way back here. Down 18-13. Richard has to finish. Short side, DeVivo blocked, and it's out of bounds. 1913. You can see Ladowdy almost shaking his head. He almost hit that and keep that ball in, but wisely let that one go out of bounds. He struggled from the service line. Let's see what he's got here. Ooh, very close. Very, very close. close though. Yeah. The best serve he's had to this point, and it just missed. Here we go, Timmy Hergett. A lot of fun to watch him serve. A player who can help the Wave get back into this one is Hergett. He's going to adjust himself to the left side of the box. At the top of the net, it's still in play. Nice job by DeVivo. Nakel, a great dig. Lead back to six. The Tigers just five points away from taking set number two. Job by McKay. A little celebration after that one too by McKay. Fifteen twenty, and now McKay off that point will hold serve. Lincoln. Keegan's read that beautifully. He was down in the butterfly, made the save. 
Looks like he was back playing hockey for the Richmond Tigers. This gifted goalie he was for right Richfield. Verdejo, did he catch it? Yep. Verdejo. Oh, nice. See him take a seat. Miles Peck is going to check back in. 21 16 now, Richfield. Makel to serve. Side for Sweden. And the Tigers disappointed with that one. They knew they had a good opportunity to squander it away. Sweden rocking some sweet socks there. American flag. He's been really solid all afternoon long for the Darien Blue Wave. Lincoln. <laughs> Preston waiting at the door. Return to sender and the point going to Darien. A lead down to three. There's that size advantage. See the Donya is just gonna call a timeout for the Tigers. A smart timeout as well. 21-18, set number two, high school volleyball on the HAN network. At Portofino Restaurant and Wine Bar in Bethel, fresh and simple food is our concept. Owned and operated by brothers Rocco and Louie, Portofino has a distinct and diverse food and drink menu. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Come join us for live local music on Tuesdays and Sundays, Wednesday nights for mouthwatering prime rib, and every Thursday night is ladies' night. Planning a party? All our catering menus are personalized to suit your event and your budget. Join us at the Dolan Plaza, 213 Greenwood Ave, Bethel, and call us at 203-797-8131. Like us on Facebook. Back at Darien High on a hot spring afternoon. We're staying cool inside the gym. But the Blue Wave and the Tigers have turned up the heat on the court. Set number two after Darien took number one, 25-23. Wave trying to fight their way back here, trailing 8-21-18 now. Big opportunity here, right in the middle, Preston. Just like that, it's down to two, Frank. So I said, Darien does a great job here, clawing their way back. Tigers have to be able to finish this. Keep in mind, no Ladowdy on the floor. Right in the middle. Wow, great job by Keegan's, but it's going to go to Darien. What was once a six point lead has diminished to one. 2120, Tyler Herget still serving. Lincoln. Finally able to power through. That one was huge. Big point for the Tigers here. As they inch closer to the game point. The Dowdy back on the floor for Keegan's. Set to the short side was blocked. We're going to say it actually went into the net, so it was a fourth touch against Gary Ann. That's why the point to the Tigers and quickly jumping up to serve is Leah Punov. They come right back to Preston. Good dig. Good job by Nagel staying with that one through. Nice job by Timmy Herget. Rafter. Tigers come away with it. Set point for Richfield. 24-20. And Herget just a little too cute with that one. We're tied at one. We'll be back with more high school volleyball after this on the HAM Network. Want a new experience in car buying? No aggravation, no confrontation, just answers to all your questions. Scap Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, car buying the way you want it to be. With one of the largest selections of new two and four door Jeep Wranglers available, we are Connecticut's Wrangler headquarters. Located in Fairfield, Connecticut, we're easy to get to. Just two and a half miles off the Merritt Parkway, exit 44 via Route 58 South. Save thousands right now during the spring clearance event now through April 30th. UK Gourmet is the largest specialty grocer in the area, featuring food from England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Over 80 teas to choose from and a brilliant assortment of biscuits to go with them. Over 70 cheeses from grass-fed cows, which makes a smashing difference in taste. 
the creamiest chocolate you'll ever taste using no artificial colors or preservatives. So say hooray for UK Gourmet, 78 Stony Hill Road in Bethel, or visit ukgourmet.us. The new fishing season is fast approaching, so it's time to head over to the dock shop and get your gear in order. We're now offering bait in both Darien and our Westport location. The dock shop can service and repair your rods and reels, spool up new line, and fill any empty space you might have in your tackle box. Whether you're a fisherman, boater, or beach bum, the dock shop is a unique place to shop. The dock shop, 51 Tokenique Road, Darien, 609 Riverside Avenue, Westport, dockshop.com. Pizza to satisfy even the most demanding critics. Tuzi Pazza Pizza. And welcome back to Darien High School here as we head to the third set. Both teams tied at one. Darien winning the first set, then Richfield coming back to win the second set. It really has been a fun afternoon here. As we talked about yesterday on the show, Frank, I definitely expect this to go all five. Both sides are going to give it their all. Well, they put on quite a show through the first two, and now we'll play a best of three down the stretch. Again, games to 25, you must win by two. If we go to a fifth set, it will be to 15. Teams have switched back to their original sides. Again, Richfield, orange on black. Darianne, blue on black. The Class L champions from last season to our left. The FCX champions. To our right, the runners up in both those categories on opposite sides. <laughs> Listen, they're gonna, we're going to have to do this all over again. These two teams, May 18th, they're going to go at it again this time at RHS, Richfield High School. And on the short side, Herget's first opportunity blocked. And a little too much mustard on that shot from McKay. Good communication again, but it was for the Tigers. They earned that first point in third set. Ooh, McKay. I don't know how intentional that one was. <laughs> well, we said it last game. No pictures on the scorecard right now. You'll take points any way you can. Doesn't matter how ugly it looks. Now it is Timmy Herget struggling to find that stroke on his serve. Question is, can Ladowdy return fire? Great serve that time. In the middle here is Preston. Good dig there by Lincoln. Far side, DeVivo is denied. Oh, just, just miss hit that. It was a little off. Unfortunate. Dowdy takes the seat. Keegan's back in for the Tigers. A rare mistake from Leopunov. Okay, sir. Henrik trying to win that point back himself. Again, just miscommunication between Tyler Herget and Alex Preston. Now DeVivo will serve, leading three to two. Good idea there by Herget. Crafty little player in front of the net. To the short side, Sweetie. And then Leopunov was waiting for that one. <laughs> I tell you, Leopunov is just so much fun to watch. Plays with so much energy and emotion on the floor, a lot of fun. Three ball opportunity. And I say Lee Puno touched the net. It's a smart play by Tyler Hurt. You talked about his craftiness and awareness at the net. There have been a couple of points where uh, that ball was 50 50 at the net go either way, and he's made sure that Darian's been at least given a chance to extend the point. 
Jack Lincoln starting to heat up a little bit here. Got to get him going for the Richfield Tigers. Struggled a little bit in the first and second set. He can get going. The Tigers would love to see that. Nakel on the serve. Right in the middle of the Preston. And again, another good setup there by Tyler Hergett. Right to Preston. Good spike. The passing from both teams has been uh, very impressive. And they stand out to this point of the game. Roll behind the bleachers on the left side. One of our line judges chased it down. Everyone back in position and are now ready to go. There's a new ball in play. Far side Lincoln. Haven't been the cleanest of kills for Lincoln, but he's starting to score points. And as we said in that last match against Staples, I thought he was the best player on the court. They want him to get going here in a big way. They certainly do. They gotta get Lee Ponov going on these serves too. Sweetie tried to place a set over the net. Good set All up. the way to the opposite side. Wow. The Dowdy, a little extra sauce on that one. If Sean McKay doesn't get in the way of that one, it might end up on the Merritt Parkway. <laughs> what a hit by the Dowdy. Hergert in the middle. He got it to go. Big answer from the senior captain as now right. we're trading blows back and forth. Big response there by Timmy Hergert. So far in all three sets, that we've, we're in the third set. Both first and second set, the Tigers had an early lead. First set, they, they dropped the lead. Second set, they did a nice job and closed it out. Free ball opportunity converted on. And you know what, Frank? I talked a little about how coming into this game, the Tigers hadn't dropped a set all season long. They dropped that first set. They came back and won an important second set. Right now, the body language is very positive. Of course, winning that second set was huge, but after losing it, you didn't see them hang their head. Well, they certainly have had the advantage. Outscoring by Darian. Outscoring Darian by nine since losing that first set. And looking to improve on it now is Lincoln. It's a friendly roll at the cage. McKay dropped one over. Good save by Lincoln. Got to get it over. Three ball opportunity here. Someone touched the net. Who are they going to say it was? I'm going to say it was McKay. And trailing by five for the second game in a row, Coach LaRusso takes a timeout. 10-5, Richfield set number three, high school volleyball on the HAN Network. When it comes to considering the outside of your home, just imagine the possibilities. Whether your dream is a stunning freeform pool or a tranquil secluded garden, the team of professionals at Stonebridge Associates will make it a reality. We offer unparalleled landscape design and construction, masonry development, pools, spas, and water features, as well as landscape and garden maintenance. No other firm can offer the same level of creativity, quality, and personal attention. Discover the possibilities at stonebridgeassociates.net or call 203-544-8376 today. Back on the HA Network, Frank Renito and Kevin Coleman. Richfield and Darianne Volleyball from Darianne High. Also in action today between Darianne and Richfield, we got baseball and softball games. Darianne currently with a 5-0 lead at the top of the third in softball that game at Richfield High School. And in baseball, we are scoreless halfway through the fourth inning. We talked a little bit the other day on Nutmeg Sports. Darianne, a team, in my opinion, that would have a serious run again in the FCX baseball tournament. And of course, Richfield with Alex Price and Colin Lowe on the bump. Listen, I think for Darianne, I'm going to see a big point for Richfield. I think, to your point, Frank, if I'm a Darian Blue Wave in baseball, I don't care. I'm, I don't care what my record is. Just get into the playoffs. Once you're in, 
There's no telling who's going to win at that point. So wide open. Darianne finally getting that hometown bounce off the net. We've seen the last few Richfield serves just trickle over. Now Tim Hergett will look to refine his serve here. We go to the Vivo on the far side, and that one was too hot to handle as it fell dead right off Hergett's hands. Great spike there by Christian DeVivo. See what Lodowdy can do here on the serve. The two in a row in play. They go to Preston. He was denied at the net. Christian and DeVivo, he's pumped up about that one. <laughs> now listen, the junior has really turned himself into a very strong volleyball player. Look at that, Frank. Two in a row now from Ladowdy. Two great serves in a row. In the middle, Preston. Good dig by Lincoln. Third side to Vivo. All Tigers right now. <laughs> Christian, three in a row. Hergit from behind the line. He's crashing through the bench. There's Jack Lincoln, coaching staff, and his teammates appreciate the effort. That's right. Sacrificing the body for the team. Good luck. Very close, very close. <laughs> a couple of those. Just like that, the lead seven again, 15-8. And here is DeVivo, who's been so hot in this third game. Good save by the Darian Blue Wave. Opportunity to give him right back. Preston, this time he powers through. I don't know with a seven-point lead if Leopunov needed to try to go over on that second touch. He doesn't, but you know what? How about that setup by Tyler Hurley? Great spike there by Alex Preston. And the sophomore now going to head to the service line. Right in the middle, Verdejo. He has converted when been given the opportunity this afternoon. And again, there's another good setup by Leopoldov. Tigers have looked better serving this third set. Nagel serve. Preston in the middle. Man's got the power on that side too. <laughs> He's also got the height advantage. Oh baby, six foot eight. He used every inch of it on that one to go over the top. And that's why he was probably one of the best players in basketball in the FCAC this year. Outside for Lincoln. Probably three feet off the net there. Had to put a little extra on it and try to make sure he got it up over the net. That's the difference as it falls over the back line out of play. Lincoln again. It's deflected back to the Richfield side of the net, but lands out of bounds. 17-11. You see Ladowdy check back in. Keegan's going to take a seat for the Tigers. So you had the Hergit spike blocked back into Hergit's face. Somehow made its way over the net again, went out of bounds. Either way, point Tigers, advantage Tigers. 18-11, they lead. Timeout, Darianne will spend it as well on the HAN Network. Wild Birds Unlimited. At Wild Birds Unlimited of Brookfield, get expert advice from our certified bird feeding specialists. We offer always fresh, clean seed that will be sure to attract birds to your home feeder. Experience our excellent customer service. Open seven days a week. Visit us at 317 Federal Road, Brookfield. Wild Birds Unlimited. We bring people and nature together. Back on the HAN Network. 
of the last five FCAC championships in boys volleyball. Richfield has won one and Darian two, the only other team to win Staples. Richfield has been to five consecutive FCX championship games. They have been runner up in the last four. Hoping this is the year they break that trend. Trying to win their second all time and first since 2012. But standing in the way that time, Spencer Jarecki. Big block from the senior. Nice job there by Jarecki. Good momentum after that timeout called by Darian. Talked about the importance of those timeout points. Darian has done well on them today. The past two games, they found themselves chasing five or six points for most of the match. Got it. That one got the line, big finish. Pinpoint accuracy on that spike there from the Dowdy. Here's Herger going up. Good setup, Herger to Herger. Just a little too far over from Tim. And a big point for the Tigers here. 20 to 12. The eight point advantage is the largest we've seen today. Darian's gonna pick it up a little bit here. A little sluggish after that timeout. Three ball now. Right back to Ladowdy. Far side to Vivo, and that one was just a little out of his reach. I'm the Tigers right now. Take a deep breath. Eight point lead, 21-13, you're tied at one of the game. How many points would Darian have to run off before you think Coach Lagana uses the timeout? I think once he starts, Ooh, that was very close to staying in line. But to your question, maybe one more? No, no, no. I'd say three, if Darian goes on a three point rally, it gets this game closer, Lagana will use that timeout. Look, Dowdy waiting from that outside hitting position. It's uh, tough to get any kind of a streak going on the offensive front. 22-14 now. Darianne out of timeouts for this set. Tyler Hergen winning a matchup at the net with the big senior. Not easy to do. See Josh Adejo check in. Andrew Nakel check in as well for the Tigers. Tim Herget to serve for the Blue Wave. Dale in the middle. Good, good, good. McKay got that one pure. It's a big point for Darian Blue Wave. Six point advantage now. I might use that timeout if Herget converts here on this serve. Communication by the Tigers. The team's still struggling with the serve right now. I, I just think with where you are in the match, Kev, don't allow Darian any kind of life whatsoever. <laughs> Preston going up through a deflection. 23-17. We see Sean Keegan's check in for Nick Lodowdy. Side to Vivo. He got it. No. Say it was Just out. Just missed. Just missed. I thought that had caught the line. Good eye from the line judge up. Good communication. Darian just shooting themselves in the foot at the moment. And it'll be to Vivo, who has been so great this game, serving for the game. 24-18. Fortunate there for the Tigers. They're in blue wave. So I have a long, chance here. Long way to go in this game now. Trail by five. They'll need five in a row to at least extend this one. Yeah. 
Looks like Sean Keegan is on the wrong side. And give the point to Darien. Can't give away free points like that in a game like this. Far side, Lincoln. Did it land out? Yes, it did. And that'll do it. Second game in a row that it finishes 25-20. And the Tigers just one game away from wrapping this one up. 2-1 Richfield High School Volleyball on the HAN Network. Banking Well is doing good. That's why, with the support of local community partners, Bankwell has launched the Bankwell Pet Adoption Project to boost awareness about the hundreds of animals in local shelters that need a home. And when you donate to the cause using the Bankwell self-service coin machines, we'll match your donation. For details, visit mybankwell.com slash please adopt me. Bank smart, bank local, bank well. Let our satisfied customers tell it. I have called Mr. Handyman for every reason, every occasion, every broken item, every leak. They have bailed me out on many occasions, and I would recommend them to anyone. For any project, large or small. Mr. Handyman, If you're watching this broadcast, you're not alone. The HAN Network is available for 200,000 Connecticut cable customers on the Frontier Network. And we've also reached more than 2 million viewers on our free live streaming sports, news, and entertainment broadcasts. To reach our rapidly growing audience, contact Advertising Director Jessica Murren at 203-273-7312 or email jessica at han.network. Welcome back to the HAN Network here. Got boys volleyball, Richfield Derry as we enter the fourth set. Richfield up two to one. After losing the first set, they've won the last two. They've looked very dominant here in that third set. Derry struggled a little bit, but right now the Tigers on the verge of going home up, winning 3 1. As we enter this fourth set, both teams. Easily one of the best two in the state. Definitely in the conference, but definitely two of the best in the state. Of course, Richfield Tigers won the Class L Championship, beating Darien. And Darien flipped the switch as they beat the Tigers in the FCAC Championship last year. Darien winning that first game, Kev, 25-23, but the last two have gone. To Richfield 25-20-25-20. Darianne was three and one against Richfield last year, but as we mentioned at the start of this broadcast, the last ten meetings between the two schools split five and five. Just showing you how tightly contested this rivalry has been. Both coaches very familiar with each other. We talk about the last ten meetings. Five and five. I mean, with the exception of last season, with Darien, a runner-up in the state tournament. Before that, they won two state titles in Class M. Richfield's won the last three state titles. They're not just two of the best teams in this conference, they're two of the best in the state. And the region for that matter is Richfield just last week up at the Roadie Invitational. We saw, spoke with the captains about it yesterday and what a great job they did up there. And, and it's already 2-0, Kev, and I don't want to stray to too many different topics, but it, it needs to be mentioned that the biggest difference in this game right now has been the unforced errors of three points by Darien. Right, and, but you know what? I think both teams have done that to, to the extent, not to the extent Darien has, but Darien has given Richfield some, 
some free points. But if you look back in that last game, you know, Richfield up eight. They let Darien get that deficit to four because of some free points. But a big point there. And again, Jack Lincoln got to get him going, especially in this fourth set. The Tigers want to go home winners. Right in the middle here, it's blocked again. It's a combination of Miles Peckham and Jack Lincoln. Nice job of the two of them. Farside Herget, they needed that. It's Tim Herget trying to keep the wave going here through the early game struggles in set number four. He's got to get going here in this fourth set. Too good of a player to go unnoticed here. Good save. And again, two in a row for Timmy Herget. The end of four innings of play, Darian and Richfield are scoreless in baseball. You can follow that game. Score updates at hashtag CTBase on Twitter. Happy to have you along though for some Connecticut volleyball. Two of the top three teams in the state here, Darian and Richfield on the HAM Network. That's a big point for the Tigers. Oh, great rally. We've seen a couple of rallies now in a row that have gone up into the double digits for touches. After the third set really was more uh, it were kills and errors that resulted in points. It's a little too far out of the reach of Ledowdy. Unsure of how much room he had over there behind the bench. Marianne has done well to trim this back down to one. And Herget will go to serve. It's Tim, the senior captain. Brother Tyler mans the net. Far side here is Preston. Good save by Lee Punov. <laughs> That's a big block. And starting to come to life now. It's a big block there from the combination of McKay and Preston. Not the start that Richfield wanted to have here. If you're the Tigers, how important is it to win this game, not allow it to go to five and let Darianne ride that momentum? It's crucial. It's just like any best of five, best of seven. You gotta win when momentum's on your side. Because if you let Darian win this, especially at home for Darianne, not a good chance to win that fifth set. Preston taking advantage of the free ball, puts it right down. And here, Zach Swady saying, protect this serve, protect this serve. Darian hasn't had a serves rally in quite some time. So the Dowdy just mishit that. Goes straight into the net. A nice two point lead for the Blue Wave. Another unforced error on the serve this time by Makai. Okay. And those are the things that both teams have to cut back on. Now, Miles Peckham. Had him just into a troubled area for Richfield, and they were unable to recover. 
Smart play by Verdejo, though, trying to kick that one up. Your foot is <laughs> eligible. Good effort by Verdejo. Big point for the Blue Wave. Far side, Ladaudi. <laughs> With the left hand, but it was out. Couldn't keep it in play. Just pulled it a little too far. Wait, you know what? The opponent fooled Darien. I think they thought he was going to go to DeVivo instead. Played it behind him to Ladaudi. Damn, Darien just cannot hold on to that serve. Both teams are really struggling. One guy who's been actually doing pretty good as of late is Lodowdy on the serves. Oh, he's going to say you jinxed him on that one. I uh, certainly did. This is going to take a seat for Keegan's. Spoke too soon. Let's see how Preston fares on the opposite end of the court. Good dig. This time Preston from about six feet back. Good rally. Both teams have to communicate here. Big point for the Tigers. As DeVivo comes away the winner. Great effort from both sides though. Right to the service line. Far side, Hergit. Well, that's a good effort by, you know, good dig by Nagel, good effort by Keegan's. Uh, was a nice touch by Miles Peckham, just unfortunately he's sitting on the bench for the Tigers. <laughs> right in the middle for Dejo. Can't get it to go though. First time Darianne has really taken advantage and in control of this match in a couple of games. They lead by four, 13-9. Lincoln. Got a piece of the referee there. Seems to be all right. It's a big point for the Tigers. Right beautifully by the defense. Thirteen eleven now. Set number four, two one advantage in favor of the Tigers. Diving Swady keeps that one alive. Far side Hergit. Oh, they deserve that point. They certainly did. Great rally from both sides. Hurry to do a great job of pinpoint accuracy there, placing that ball where none of the Richmond Tigers were. To the near side, Lincoln. He started to find his touch down the stretch now. Here comes Ladaudi in for Keegan's. Heading to the service line, Leah Puma. Okay. McKay has been really solid all game long here for Blue Wave. Jump serve from Hergit. Daddy just too strong at the net. 15 13 as we started exchanging points now through the middle of this set. Preston to answer. This one is slowed down quite a bit, and right now if you're Darianne, that's the pace you want it at. You're right, you're, you have ritual where you want them, and again, of course, there's, you know, you're giving the Tigers three points when you're up three. You're inching close to that match point. We 
Miles Peckham serve this one. Oh, that was going out. Nice shot by Herget though. Tim on the finish. Tyler gets ready to serve. Fighting that one off. Going up and ever so gently dropping that one in. Spencer Jarecki, great awareness at the net. And Coach LaDonia trailing by four, wants to take a timeout. Darianne up 18-14, more volleyball on the HA Network after this. Have a sports injury or a slip and fall that needs immediate care? Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care gives you direct access to an orthopedic specialist fast, without an appointment. Biking, golf, tennis, soccer, whatever the sports injury is, sprain or fracture, Coastal Ortho Express can help. Coastal Ortho Express Urgent Care open Monday through Saturday, now at three locations. 131 Kings Highway North in Westport, the I Park Building at 761 Main Avenue Norwalk, and 36 Old Kings Highway South in Darien. Or go to CoastalOrthoExpress.com, like them on Facebook. Back on the HA Network and fans, don't forget there are just a couple days left to donate as Make-A-Wish Connecticut needs your support this month to make wishes come true for children with life-threatening medical conditions. Throughout April, HAN and Make-A-Wish are asking you to donate unused airline miles to our Wishes in Flight campaign. 70% of wishes granted each year for Connecticut kids involve travel, and those airline miles make it happen. Unused Delta United miles may be donated directly to the campaign by visiting ct.wish.org slash HAN network. JetBlue, Southwest Airlines, and American Airlines also accept airline mile donations that support Make-A-Wish through their own airline mile donation programs. Directions to those portals are available on the HAN network campaign page. Again, visit ct.wish.org slash HAN network. That's ct.wish.org slash HAN network to support a wonderful cause. And be sure to check out more stories about local Wish Kids Dream Vacation in our community newspapers all month long. Just a couple of days left to donate to the Make-A-Wish Connecticut flight campaign. Couple of points for the Blue Wave, and now it is a five point difference here, 2015, in favor of Darianne. Good communication by the Blue Wave there. That was nice, comfortable six point lead here. A, a, an uncharacteristic error from the senior Josh Verdejo right there. Pressing hasn't had a good night of serving here, struggling. Good serve from DeVito here. Herget again going up strong. Able to finish. Near side, Lincoln tried the drop shot, but it's no avail. Back to Hergen on the far side, he's feeling it now. Not enough as Verdejo denied the opportunity on the doorstep. Great job by Verdejo and Leah Pulinov. You see Verdejo check out. Miles Peckham check in for the Tigers. Stay alive. Now the lead is only four. And Coach LaRusso wants to keep it there. He takes the timeout. 22 18. High school volleyball coming back right after this. At the Milford Bank, we offer an extensive selection of lending products and services to meet virtually any need. Submit your application online in our Mortgage Web Center. Start to finish, you can apply for a loan in as little as 10 minutes. Our knowledgeable and helpful staff are available to meet with you at your convenience. 
To learn more about what we can do for you, stop by one of our Milford Bank offices or visit us at milfordbank.com. The Milford Bank, always there. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. A couple of points from Richfield. They trail by four. I'll need a little bit of a run here, though. They want to get back into this one. Good set up. Lincoln had to readjust. Did well to get it over. Far side, Hergit. Able to convert. Big. Just snuck that one in on the Richfield side. Big point for the Blue Wave. Yes. This communication from the Tigers. And we are now just one point away from a fifth set. Perfect placement there for Lincoln. Found that soft spot in the defense. I doubt he's gonna check in for Keegan's. The short side, Hergit for the win. Count it. 25-19, first of 15 is gonna win when we get back, fifth set coming up. High School Volleyball in the home of FCX Sports, the HAN Network. Spring has sprung at Walter Stewart's Market, and we're celebrating the new season with fresh takes on spring. From the finest produce around to guaranteed fresh seafood delivered daily by the best local supplier. Not only are we your time-saving one-stop shop for everything you need this season, our personable team is always ready with a helping hand. Shop Stewart's for the best of spring. Find us at 229 Elm Street, New Canaan, or shop online at stewartsmarket.com. At InSports Trumbull, the game is always on inside. Sign-ups are now open for one of our most popular programs, the New England 80 Elite Lacrosse Division I and Division III Showcases. With D1 and D3 coaches in attendance, players will receive a 60-minute webinar with Director of Recruiting Hans Hansen, a custom N80 pinny, custom shorts, and a video of all games. Last year's event sold out quickly, so sign up now for the next showcase coming in January 2018. Like and follow us on Facebook. Don't have to go far for authentic Neapolitan cuisine and renowned wood fire pizza. Pizzeria Loretano of Bethel is a contemporary Italian bistro specializing in authentic wood fired brick oven pizza Napolitana. Pizzeria Loretano was named one of America's top 1,000 Italian restaurants in 2008 by Zagat and recommended by Jane and Michael Stern on National Public Radio's Splendid Table. Located close to the Bethel Cinema, we focus on quality and our food is always made to order. Join us for live jazz Sundays from 6 to 8. Find our schedule, menu, and more at PizzeriaLoretano.com and like us on Facebook. Give your day a jump start with the latest news, sports, weather, and more on Coffee Break, live on the HAN Network, weekdays at 11 a.m. Connecticut news doesn't get any more local than on Coffee Break. Back on the HAN Network, Frank Renito and Kevin Coleman from the gymnasium at Darien High School. It is heading to a fifth and decisive set between the Blue Wave and the Richfield Tigers. Tied at two as Darian won the fourth set, 25 to 19. You've got to feel good for the Blue Wave right now, riding momentum into this fifth set. But in a shorter game, only to 15, Kev, they have got to cut down on the unforced errors. Oh, if I'm the Blue Wave, you have to be so confident going to this fifth set. What a fourth set they just had right there. Great win for them to extend this to the fifth and final set. For the Richfield Tigers, the one thing that I'd have to look forward to is that you know, after the Darien Blue Wave won that first set, they came back firing. So both teams exchanging blows. You know, it's only fitting you know, that this game's going five, going five sets. We talked about it on Nutmeg Sports yesterday. That would have been, well, we called it. This game's going to go five sets. I will, two of the best in the conference. The, we expected this. I will absolutely give you credit where credit is due. You were all over this one going to five sets. And 
It's been tremendous volleyball. We're so lucky that these two are going to play not at least one more time. We expect to see them possibly in an FCI championship, possibly in a state championship. Kev, a three-run homer from Thrasher has put Bridgefield up four to one in baseball over the Darien Blue Wave. All right. Richfield baseball coming back to life this year. I got to love to see that. Uh, we will have plenty of time for that later. For right now, this is quickly turned in to the first to 15. You have to win by two. How important is this first set? I mean, you want to get that first point in the fifth set. So both sides are going to give everything they have. And you talk about the unforced turnovers. You can't have that here. Mm -hmm. You use them in the, four, in the first four sets here. You have to play perfect volleyball if you want to win, especially if you're going up against these two teams. Jim coming back to life as Leopunov has the ball in his hands, and we are underway in the fifth and final set. Got to get this over. Now the Tigers have a chance to set up. Three ball, Legality. Good start. to get going early. Hopefully carry some momentum into his serve. Great setup by Leah Konov. Right to Ladawi. Great save. Well done all around. Way too shot, just a little too long. Man, how about Tyler Herget today? He's been all over the floor. He's put on a great show for the Darien Blue Wave. Finally, an opportunity here for the Blue Waves. They can control a serve. And Timmy converts. Correction, that was Sean McKay converting off the set from Tyler Herget. Okay, another player we have not given enough credit to for his hops today. That young man is another Blue Wave player. He's got the leap ability. Good dig. Nice job by Tim Hergen, nice dig there. Uh, a little too anxious by Nick Ladowdy that time. He had the free ball, it didn't need to go back right away. You can see Coach Ladani after that. I wanted to see that pass around a little bit, but they come right back to the big man. Good block by Tyler Hergen. Lincoln tried the drop shot, and now it's the wave with an opportunity. Far side, Preston! Oh. A little extra on that one, Frank. It's the fifth set. First lead of the set for Darianne. Without he'd answer, and he was blocked up high. Wow, man, how about Tyler? A little hurt it. Stepping up big in clutch time. Coach Ladania wants to try and calm down some of this momentum. 4-2, wave on a three-point run. We'll be right back in the fifth set after this. We told Dad he could have his office back if he sold 150 cars last month. Deal's a deal. Well, Dad, you did it. You get your office back. Forget it. I'm having too much fun down here. My new goal, 160 cars. <laughs> wow. Folks, if you ever wanted a great price on a new Nissan, now is the time. Right now, lease a 2017 Altima 2.5S for only $99 a month. Isn't it time you got Millerized? Fifth set, Tim Hergett serving for the Wave, who have a 4-2 lead on the home of FCX Sports, the HAA Network. Don't forget, we're back tomorrow. A lacrosse doubleheader from New Canaan. Battle for exit 37, Darian, New Canaan, and girls and boys lacrosse. We are currently enjoying the fifth set of an FCX Championship rematch in boys volleyball right now. And what, what a point we are seeing. Preston finally decided, and it's Richfield who comes away huge out of the timeout. Great rally there from both sides. I think we expect to see that more here in this final set. Far side for McKay. Okay, stepping up big here in this final set. 
did well to make sure he stopped his feet before the midcourt line and he painted the sideline with that shot. Short side, DeVivo. Good job by Nagel. Still an opportunity here as Hergett and McKay both wanted that one from deep on the basketball baseline. Good effort. Play. Good effort by Blue Wave. What a play there too from Jarecki adjusting off one of those basketball hoops. Everything in the ceiling is in play. Preston starting to find that kill here in the fifth set. You're not gonna stop Alex Preston on a shot like that. Richfield had not lost a single set all season. Darianne only one. Both of them have lost two today, trying to avoid a third. Tyler heard it, unhappy with that call. Darianne still holds a one point lead. Huge serve for Ladowdy. Good job. See good leadership here, skills by Alex Preston. Pulling Tyler Hurd to the side. Preston in the middle. Look at that, coming right at us. As Lincoln put his body out in front of that one, but it kicked hard to the left, and it's 7 6, the way back on top, and Preston will head to the service line. Short side to Vivo. He answers back. Traded blows here. Back and forth. Seesaw action. Nice shot by Christian Vivo. Far side as Hurry gets up. Had it blocked in the way of keep it alive. Second time around, he goes with the drop shot and a diving Keegan's keeps it in play. What a play by Keegan's. Hurry the third time. Will there be a fourth? See Lee put off, touch the net. Lee Punov thought the floor official might have seen it differently, but he defers to the chair judge for the call, so Darianne takes over. Sweat on serve. Lincoln gets the kill to go. Eight eight, as we go back and forth now in the fifth set. In the middle, McKay. Great setup by Jericho there to McKay. 9-8. Jarecki serving. Might have been out, but Keegan's kept it in play. Third ball has to go over. Now free opportunity here. Hergett in the middle. Good dig by DeVivo. Lincoln on the short side. It's blocked, but out of bounds. 9-9. Dowdy back in. You see Miles Peckham with that right hand. Wow. <laughs> Waiting for that one was Peckham. Richfield takes a 10 9 lead. Darien takes a timeout. More fifth set action coming up after this on the HAN Network. Did you know heart attacks and strokes are the leading cause of death in America? Protect the health of you and your loved ones. Talk to a doctor about heart disease. Hi, I'm Dr. David Pazer with ProHealth Physicians, encouraging you to stay informed about health matters that affect you. 
ProHealth Physicians is on the pulse of social media to share information about health and nutrition with the community. Get up-to-the-minute alerts, including ProHealth Physicians news and upcoming events. Connecticut's leading group of primary care doctors is just a click away. From a pounding gymnasium in Darien High School, the Blue Wave fans trying to will the wave to the final six points. In this fifth set, they won the first one 25-23. Dropped two and three, 25-20. Took number four, 25-10, and plays like that from Tyler Hergen have this one tied at 10 in the decisive fifth. First of five wins, Kevin. Make it real easy. The craftiness right there, Tyler Hergen. Caught Richfield offside. And Kunov in the middle, Peckham denied! Darianne right back on top with two quick points. Is that gonna be over? Yes. Point goes right back to Ridgefield. It's gonna be deflected, they'll say, at the net. Ladowdy using the height to his advantage that time. Jack Lincoln serving for the Tigers. Pressing in the middle. Ladowdy handcuffed and a sliding. Lincoln got there, but Ladowdy just couldn't get it up and over. Great effort though by Lincoln. It's the second time he's laid out himself trying to keep the possession alive. Back set and pressed in. We were waiting for the meeting at the net. Preston gets the better of Ladowdy. Two point lead, two points away. Wave on top, fifth set. More volleyball after this on the home of SCX Sports, the HAN Network. Want a new experience in car buying? No aggravation, no confrontation, just answers to all your questions. Scap Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Car buying the way you want it to be. With one of the largest selections of new two and four door Jeep Wranglers available, we are Connecticut's Wrangler headquarters. Located in Fairfield, Connecticut, we're easy to get to. Just two and a half miles off the Merritt Parkway, exit 44 via Route 58 South. Save thousands right now during the spring clearance event now through April 30th. 13-11, Sean McKay serving. Wave hoping to close out the Tigers here. They come to the short side, DeVivo goes up. Far side is coming away with the big point, Zach Swady. And now it is match point. Big point here for the Wave. Sean McKay's gotta get this over. Certainly got it over, just a bit of too much adrenaline on that one. And the man who started this whole thing off has the game in the palm of his hands. Miles Peckham to serve. Triple championship point for the Wave, and they go right to Preston. He caught that one and threw it. Set was not up high enough. That's big right there. Point here extends the game. You have to win by two. 14-13, Darianne leading. Nice serve by Peckham. Good They're gonna live and die with Preston. He wants the drop shot, and Ladowdy keeps it alive. Miscommunication. And it's played underhand with two. And the blue wave hold on. A 15-13 win. The wave moves to 11-0. It is the first loss of the season for the Richfield Tigers. What a great game it was. Both sides really gave it their all. Yeah, we called it, this game was gonna go to a fifth set. There's no way either side was gonna win two sets in a row. Great matchup here. Just, that just means the game on May 18th is gonna mean even more for the Richfield Tigers at home for them. But listen, I think we all can fully expect these two teams want to see each other again in the playoffs. Certainly lived up to the hype today. Richfield falls to eight and one overall and in the FCAC. They're now in second place. They'll go to Massac next. 
before hosting Danbury in their next home game. The Wave now 11-0 on the season, 8-0 in the conference. They will play against Trumbull next here at Darien High and then travel to Staples. Staples currently in third place in the conference, so a big one there for the Wave. A lot of fun today, Kev. Your final thoughts? Listen, I thought both sides, it was, someone had to go home a winner, but I thought both sides played really well. I think Richfield can take a lot of positives out of the negatives here. A big win for the Darien Blue Wave at home. I think this just means that this next game on May 18th is gonna be even sweeter. Round one goes to Darien, 3-2. They knock off the Tigers. Don't forget, we are back tomorrow, a doubleheader featuring the Darien Blue Wave. It's rivalry day on the HA Network. Girls and boys across from Canaan, Darien, 1.30 for the girls, 4.30 for the boys. Kevin and myself are doing Lake Rocco, Blue Ball. For Kevin Coleman, I'm Frank Bernito. Thank you so much for tuning into the HA Network, your home, FCX Sports.